Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death urged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overlooked me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting lasting life. Praise to you. Lord 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> the Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. In the discipline of theology, one of the things every seminarian would learn about are what we would call the modes of credibility. And essentially what these are, are the rational reasons why the apostles would have followed Christ and many other people, and why they would have not only believed in him when he says, I am the Son of God, without wanting to stone him like the Pharisees, uh, but why they would also go on to die for the gospel truth. And one of those modes of sort of credibilities would be the miracles in which he worked. They witnessed firsthand the multiplication of the loaves. And of those gathered there, really probably only the apostles knew exactly what was going on. Then you have our Lord saying things like, you know, your sins are forgiven. And people freaking out like, only God can forgive sins. And he goes, well, if you think that's hard, watch this. To a crippled man for his whole life, take up your mat and walk. You know, so he backs up what he says, uh, the spiritual authority he has by showing it displayed in the temporal realm. And there's a lot of other examples of that. For example, the most holy Eucharist. Jesus says, if you think that this saying is hard, that you have to eat my flesh and drink my blood, if you're going to have eternal life within you, what are you going to do when you see the Son of Man ascending into heaven? Fun fact. To deny that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist is to reject his ascension into heaven, which means he hasn't gone to prepare a place for us if you reject the teaching of the Eucharist. And in some aspect, you're denying the resurrection. So can you really call yourself a Christian? That's just food for thought. It shouldn't apply to Catholics because we're willing to die for Jesus in the most holy Eucharist. And the examples can go on and on and on. Another great example would be of for modes of credibility that we'll be celebrating soon uh, is the resurrection from the dead. You have 11 apostles, terrified, hiding, uh, hiding with the doors locked, afraid of the, the Jewish hierarchy for the simple reason that Jesus, who was crucified and handed over to be crucified by the Jewish leadership to the Romans, uh, they're now going to hunt his followers. And what do we see after they've more or less abandoned him in his moment of need? Something 
radically changes within their lives and they go out throughout the whole world proclaiming the gospel, especially Peter with great zeal. What was that? The encounter with the risen Lord, sort of having that moral certainty of the reality that what he taught was true. And a lot of this was for them even a mode of credibility because remember uh, on Mount Tabor when we celebrated the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ with Moses and Elijah present, our Lord tells Peter, James, and John, you know, don't tell anyone about this until I rise on the third day. And they're all kind of like, what, what does he mean by rise on the third day? Like we don't fully grasp this. It reaffirms what our Lord has taught. And so within our own lives, as we hear the word of God, our faith in many ways is not simply built off of what we have read, but that it was backed up by the testimony of witnesses who saw it, witnesses who were present for this, witnesses who died for the sake of this gospel. And we, in turn, have experienced in a less official way, modes of credibility for our own faith as we go forward. We know the presence of God at work within our lives. Some of us have seen real miracles. Some of us have been the recipient of real miracles by the grace of God and through the intercession of the saints. So as we approach the Easter season, allow our faith to be strengthened by both the proof of God at work within our own lives, but also the proof that our Lord Jesus Christ gave to the foundation of the church, which would be his apostles and his first disciples, a foundation that is rested, uh, sort of that rests upon Christ himself. And if there's any mortar in the combination of this uh, foundation of the church, it's the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. So fear not, the church is going nowhere, even if it has some bumpy patches. Because at the end of the day, we can always rest assured that if Christ has promised us that he will be with us to the end of days, his word is true and we can trust in it. May God always help us to grow in each and every day in faith. And may we give witness to the glory of the truth of the gospel and of the resurrection. Amen. Trusting in God, we make our petitions known to him. So for seminarians and prospective religious, may God bless their efforts of study and discernment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in the promotion of peace and the resolution of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer hardship for the sake of the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit grant them the grace and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this community of worship preparing to receive the Easter sacraments, may the love of Christ embrace them ever more deeply during this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, and especially today we remember June Russell, may Christ welcome them to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers written in our book of remembrance, those we have been asked to pray for, and those we lift up from the depths of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask that you graciously receive our prayers and bring them to fulfillment in accord with your holy will. We ask this in the name of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, sent by the wondrous power of the cross. Your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of, of that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that, dead to sin, we might live for righteousness. 
by his wounds we have been healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. May it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast in the hell of Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint John the Evangelist, 